Hi everybody, this is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Today we're talking about cabbage and how to select the best cabbage available to you and the best way to store it when you get it home. Now when you're choosing a head of fresh cabbage, you want one that looks firm and is actually heavy for its size. So you want to pick it up if you possibly can. If it's heavy, that means that those leaves are tightly packed. If it's lightweight, they're kind of loosely packed and you're not going to get a whole lot in there. So you want the leaves to look fresh, crisp, tightly packed with as few blemishes or cracks as possible. If they've got severe damage on the outer leaves, they have probably had some insect damage along the way, maybe some decay. There might even be some insects lurking on the inside, so you need to watch out for that for sure. And usually there's a few outer leaves that are on the loose side, but you want to make sure it just feels heavy and that'll tell you they're tightly packed on the inside. You'll see cabbage available not only as a fresh head, but pre-cut and shredded uh, in the plastic bags. With regard to nutrition, your whole heads of cabbage are going to be a better deal for you. Also, they're going to be a lot cheaper per ounce or per pound than the pre-shredded cabbage that's in the plastic bags. But they are a great convenience for you if you need to buy them and you don't have a lot of time in the kitchen. The only noteworthy thing there is that when you buy it pre-shredded like that, it will tend to lose some of its vitamin C content along the way as it sits after it has been shredded. Also, there could potentially be some bacteria that has multiplied inside that bag. Even if they say that the cabbage has been pre-washed, that's fine and dandy, but if there's any bacteria in there left after it's been washed, it could still multiply in the packaging, so it's best to give it a good rinse if you can when you get it home. You also want to check the best buy date for any pre-packaged, pre-cut vegetables or cabbage that you buy and make sure that you're within the limitations of the best buy. When you get your cabbage home, if you bought a whole head, you want to store it unwashed in a plastic bag in the refrigerator or you can put it in the crisper drawer of the refrigerator with the vent closed so it's in a humid but not wet environment. Like that, it should keep for a couple weeks. Savoy cabbage is not going to keep as long. It might keep for only one week. Now, if you've got a partial head or a cut cabbage that you've cut into, you do want to keep that tightly wrapped and stored in the refrigerator as well. Another way to store your cabbage would be to take it out of the plastic bag, and I'm referring to a whole head here, take it out of the plastic bag and wrap it up in a towel, a clean, hopefully lint-free towel. Put that in a plastic bag. What that will do is help to keep any moisture that has accumulated from the release of it through the cabbage from sitting on the cabbage. It will help to maintain a humid environment but not wet environment and that is key to helping to preserve it without it forming mold and mildew on the inside. Let me know if you have any questions or comments below. This is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Bye for now.